afternoon. I'm Flora Carnero. I'm Isidora Ramos. I'm Tarini Bandy. I'm Vinay Sancho. And today we're going to be presenting the Heart of Hearts project. Our criteria. So to begin evaluating this topic, it's important to think of factors like no previous history involving alcohol or smoking, a good medical insurance and financial stability, and procedural eligibility. This is important to help identify and choose which of the five patients we think deserves the best chance in the operation. Our first option is this 45 year old woman. Her company promised her job back once the surgery is over. She's been sober for a while and she has a six year old child. But the only problem is that she's a recovering alcoholic and she's with her for four years. The next person is a 30 year old woman. She, she works out sometimes after her office hours and she has a personal trainer. And then she has the option to work remotely after the surgery. But the only problem is she smokes a pack a day and she drinks socially and she works too much. Next is a 59 year old man. He has three children, married, wants to be there for his grandchildren and he's employed. However, in this situation, the cons severely outweigh the pros. He's poor, this goes two ways, his insurance. He doesn't have the money for insurance, meaning he's gonna have to pay for the medical surgery himself. Also, his wife is in a nursing home, meaning not only does he have to pay for the medical surgery, he also has to pay for his wife. And then that also means that he is the only steady income in the household as he works 60 hours a week as a police officer. It's gonna take approximately four to six weeks for him to recover from the surgery. So that means there's no gonna be a steady income in the house. High blood pressure. High blood pressure puts him in the risk of rejection of that cardiac surgery. 45 year old man. Unlike the 59 year old man, he has more pros than cons. He has good health, he does not smoke or drink, a um, substantial amount of wealth, he's employed, insured, and a good moral character since he wants to stay with his family after the surgery. The only cons is that he's middle, middle aged, which might um, take more time for him to recover than someone who's younger. Um, and the 35 year old mom. Since she is younger, it would take her less time to recover and um, she's ready for the surgery. The cons are that she's homeless, no family, no insurance, which would mean that after the surgery, she might spend the rest of her life trying to pay off the surgery. Now we chose the 45 year old man. This is some things about him. He's healthy, he has three children, married, 45 years old, insured for the surgery, and upper middle class. So why we choose him? He met our legal requirements. He has a post-operation plan for after the surgery is done. And he's financially stable, so after his surgery, he can pay off the um, surgery and his insurance. There's three important rules when it comes to having heart transplant. So first, you have to have insurance, and then you have to have, have, be under the age of 70, and you can't be an active smoker. And think that luckily, the guy, our guy's none of these, so he's the perfect person for the heart transplant. Economic stability. The three main factors that would fall under economic stability involving the surgery would be health insurance, a good source of income and stable source, and then the alternatives that come with heart transplants. So if one doesn't work, maybe the other one could. The consequences and the patients. The most common consequences that are found with the surgery are the economic consequences that come with unemployment and debt, which can be aggravated with circumstances like the misguided usage of money, the shortage of money, or maybe there's just no source of income coming in. And then our patient, on the other hand, he can be categorized by numbers three and four. He has a medical insurance, and the procedural cost would not affect him as much as he does have a high paying job, and yet it leaves a affluent lifestyle that would allow him to perform the surgery and not have any huge amount of debts after the surgery. Economical factors. These are some evidence that I found in my research paper and to connect them back into our guy and to the 40 year old man, there are about 13.7% of patients that have said that $1,000 a month are used just for pre and post operation costs. That is a lot of money and honestly, that can be detrimental to any family. I know that if my family could have gone to the situation, it wouldn't be a good consequence, you know? It would be very detrimental. It would put us in a low social and economical standard. 
and the guy, our patient, he wouldn't have to suffer through that as he does have a good source of income. After the surgery, are candidates more capable compared to the rest of the candidates since he'll have the ability to have a quicker reposition in life since he was already handed and dealt with some pretty good cards. Um, he has access to resources for like rehabilitation and he has a substantial wealth. He's getting paid well, he has a job, and he's gonna go back to his job right after the surgery. And he's committed to his family. Social factors. There might be some psychological distress because in general when people get surgery done, um, it's something that's a big change in their life and it'll mentally affect them since they may or may not survive. Economic stress and social vulnerabilities, since even though our candidate makes money, not everyone can, which might affect them, and they'll have to be more socially vulnerable with the amount of money they make. They might have to start a GoFundMe to support their surgery. Limits, oh, sorry. Impact on family and relationships, um, since they might be asking for money, some family members may or may not want to help them out. Limits and implications. Since he is 45, unlike some of the younger candidates, he has slower recovery time. Um, work and career limit limitations. He will have a higher stress since he's starting his job right after the surgery. And emotional stress, since he'll have to be dealing with his family and take, be a father figure to his kids. Um, and post-surgery lifestyle, since surgeries are a major change in someone's life, he will have to make changes in his diet, his exercise, and things that he does on a daily. Health. There's a before and the after effects. Before, you want to know that you're healthy. You want to be 100% sure that you have no active cancers, diabetes, or obesity, because those are factors that do impact your everyday life and will most definitely impact a brand new organ in your body. After, you want to maintain a healthy weight and diet, mainly through physical activity and nutrition, to avoid anything like high blood pressure, that might later reject your heart. Contradictions. Smoking damages the heart and blood vessels. During that, during that surgery, the doctor is going to attach those major blood vessels to your new heart. And if they are weak, the heart may later be rejected. Medical problems. Medical problems can vary. I'm going to be talking about cancer because something we all know and have heard of. Cancer can limit and then postpone your surgery. On your follow-up check, on your follow-up check, you may not have the opportunity anymore because it has spread. Drinking, alcohol interferes with the process. And then mortality, age. As we know, as we go older, as we go older, we become weaker, we become more fatigued, and that affects everything. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> she went into speed mode. So much to say. Last group, let's go. Yeah, you just gotta wait out there until we're done. <laughs> but does that help having the clock back there so you know how much time you have left? I know you skip the slide for a reason. Just a rehearse. Can I get some time? I didn't look at the time. I'm going to look at the time. I'm going to look at the time. I'm going to look at the time. You were going slow, and then I had like a minute and a half. Oh, I, I, two I, 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 me and the Yeah. Okay, well then who cares? You escape. You escape. Yes. Have a great time. Just get Be careful because they have a class going on. All right, go. Just. No, I'm going to stay. I want to walk. Okay, great. Trini, just stay out there, okay? So, you get through this, you're done until December. Next presentation. Next, we're going to do little silly ones, but the next real one is December. So all of you, not just you, all of you, just get through this. Have you tried that? So you're good, Dylan, you're good with the... I did. Okay. You can aim it actually at the computer, not the... Yeah. That's just a big monitor. That's all that is. But... I'm sorry? Yeah. yeah, I'll talk about it when the last five minutes of class, but. All right. Shh.
Well, I've been recording this whole time.